Okay, so before I start off this video, there has been a brand new Hope Wanted 2 poster that just came out. This is like the main cover art of the game, so when you download the game, you will obviously see this, see this art. And this is basically the exact same as the Help Wanted art scene for Help Wanted, like in 2019. Except now it has characters that are featured in the game. So we have Thunder and Freddy, the Staff Bot, Circus Baby, Ballora, Sun, Moon, Glamrock Chica, and Roxanne Wolf. And this, this looks pretty nice, it looks pretty good. Basically the exact same as the original Help Wanted cover art. It's just weird they used, reused like some of the renders, like that Sun, Moon, and Roxanne Wolf render. Uh, just reused from the action figure scene in game and that Chica render is reused from the cookbook So I just wanted to talk about this at the start of the video because this came out right before I was about to record like the trailer analysis for um, Help Wanted 2. Um, sorry this video is a bit late. That's because I was working on preparing the FNAF movie designs the originals part 2 and I just want to get this video out still. So about a week ago we got the first full trailer of the brand new FNAF game Help Wanted 2 and so far it looks pretty good Originally, we only had some mini games showing off at PAX West and one teaser trailer, which that didn't look really good. Like the PAX West footage was all glitchy and lag. But now in this trailer, it looks really good. It's all the animations are smooth. They all look nice. So in this video, I'll be talking about every level that we see in the trailer and saying what my theories could be about them. So my main theory about Help Wanted 2 is that Help Wanted 2, the actual game in the universe, if it is a game in universe, it is like an employee training, like concept tape, whatever you want to say, like an tr employee training game or... Things like medical help, food prep, and parts and service seems like something Fazbear Entertainment employees will have to learn at their job at Fazbear Entertainment. So it seems like the Help One 2 game is made for Fazbear Entertainment employees, just to train them and stuff. The first mini game shown in the trailer is Fazer Blast, but now it has like an old western look to it. And instead of the futuristic space look it had in Security Breach, it also shows the FNAF 1 office where it's like a little diorama of the FNAF 1 office from Help Wanted. You're probably gonna have to shoot down like the animatronics or something, maybe close doors. We also have to fight off plush babies that are like like around our cart and there's also a Dreadbear meter for some reason. I don't know what that could be. Next we see Foxy's Pirate Adventure from Curse of Dreadbear. This place looks way bigger than it was in Curse of Dreadbear. Like in Curse of Dreadbear it was a pretty small area. It was like very like, cramped with all the stuff put together. But in here, it looks like a much bigger area, like where Foxy is standing, instead of just being like behind a, like a painted wall, it's like a massive room. It's obviously based off the log room from Security Beach Ruin, which we didn't actually get to see in normal Security Beach because it was closed down. Next, we have the food prep mini game. We're working behind the counter at El Chip's restaurant from the Pizza Plex. We're just stealing food to the staff bots, and that's about it. Just a simple food prep mini game. Probably just been like randomized orders and stuff. Next we have the Moon Carousel, which is shown off at PAX West in September, along with two other levels. But here we were repairing a carousel, carousel while fixing circuit boards and stuff, and also to fight off Moon with your flashlight. Then we have a pretty interesting mini game, which looks like it takes place in the FNAF 6 office, like with the two large vents on your sides, and like a little desk in the middle. And also we have to give medical help to Helpy. Looking at the screen, we have to like cut his legs off, and we also have to put like a breathing mask on him, because he has rabies apparently. I don't know how a robot can get rabies, but like, whatever I guess. Well, we have to do this while also fighting off Scrap Baby who's crawling off the vents next to us. We're probably going to have to like flash out flashlight into the vent or maybe like use a shock button. The ne next mini game shows us in the Endo warehouse from Security Breach and we're playing a little card matching game with a Glamrock Endo that has a headset on. That's so, like every time you get a card like correct, like a little tick will appear on his VR headset. While doing this, we have to flash off Fazcam and a bunch of Endos creeping towards us just like how it was in Security Breach. But instead of looking at them, we just flash off Fazcam instead. Now we have two parts and service mini games, like how it wasn't help wanted. The first one is Roxanne Wolf, which looks very pissed off for some reason. I don't know what happened to her. And her, we have to do a makeup for her. And the second one is Glamrock Freddy, which we don't see much of, so there's not much to talk about with him. We have to like press his nose and his like mouth opens. Probably have to like replace the Faz watch in him since Gregory took it in security breach. Hopefully there's like a Glamrock Chica and Monty mini games. We have Freddy and Roxy here, so it'll be like help wanted one. We have Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. We can have Roxy, Freddy, Chica, and Monty. This makes sense. Next, we have a Sun level, and we have to create a Paper Pal, which is shown on the screen next to us while Sun watches in the background. I'm guessing if we mess up the Paper Pal, Sun's probably gonna kill us. Next, we have another level that we've seen before, which is Bonka Bon, which is a whack-a-mole style mini game. We have to whack Bon Bon, Bonnet, and the plush babies while avoiding smacking Helpy. I'm pretty sure that the plush babies will just kill us if we mess up. Next, we have a recreation of the break room level with Funtime Freddy from Sis Location. This is pretty much the exact same as the level from Sis Location, but now we have like a megaphone to push Funtime Freddy back to the stage. Then we have a DJ Music Man level where it looks like, judging by the control panel in front of us, it looks like a rhythm game because it has like a little replay button and like a big screen in front of us. I'm guessing if we mess up the like rhythm or the like music notes, Music Man's gonna kill us. 
last but not least, we have a we have another look at another civilization level, which is the private room with Ballora. My guess is this is gonna be like the FNAF 1, 2, and 3 mini games seen in Help Wonder, which is the recreation of the classic games. But now we're in the this location custom night, private room, private room area. And then a final mini game, which we don't see any actual footage for, which is Mr. Kippo, which will guess our fortunes. We don't have any screenshots of this, so it's a PSVR exclusive as well, because it has like eye tracking features, which is only on the PSVR 2. So those are all the levels we have to look out for now. There's only two weeks, as I'm recording right now, until Help Wanted 2 releases on the 14th of December. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hope you guys are excited for Help Wanted 2. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!